Hey what's up guys, welcome to this player review featuring the 88 rated centre back supremo that is Sol Bamba. Now before we get into the review as always if you do enjoy the video please hit the hell out of that like button because that will really help me out and if I can help you guys out in any way possible maybe you have questions about Bamba, the team I used him in, FIFA 18 in general ask away in the comments as I'll be happy to answer those for you. So we've had a look at the card, we've had a look at the team we've used him in, now we're going to have a look at those attribute details and as you can see I mean I mean, apart from a few minor stats like his sprint speed being quite good, his shot power being pretty nice, short passing reactions and composure, there's not really much to see here. He is all about defence and physicality. It's a shame that his jumping isn't actually that great. However, his heading accuracy is superb, meaning that he's so tall, he's so good aerially with the way he positions himself that he actually doesn't really need to jump, which is quite good. And he's very, very effective in the box, I must admit, especially at corners when you're trying to attack them. He will get on the end of absolutely everything. Interceptions, marking, stand tackle, side tackle are so, so good. And with 99 strength, that accompanies all of them so, so well. It just means that he's quite mobile, but he's also an absolute tank, and no one will get past him. He is really, really great at just pushing people off the ball, using that force that he has to be a very dominant defender. So we've seen the attribute details, guys. Now we're going to have a look at some in-game footage and hear what I thought about him. So the 88 rated Sol Bamba card is definitely a what you see is what you get. He really delivers that centre back tough rugged experience that you would want from this sort of guy. He may be not the easiest to fit in but you could definitely link him up with players like Bailly, Yaya Torre etc. So you can get him into your squad and once you do you will have a really overpowered centre back. He's not the quickest in the world, let's put that straight. However, he's always in good areas. He's got really high interceptions, he's got really good marking, he is in the right spaces. So the fact that he doesn't have crazy pace like some of the other defenders that you can go out and buy, that's not too much of an issue. The great thing about this card is that when there's a tackle to be made, he will make it and he will put the guy on his ass. He is that strong, 99 strength is as good as it gets. In the air, even though he doesn't have great jumping, and that is a bit of a shame because I think it would just make him even more lethal, both in terms of defending his own box, but also attacking your opponents. At corners, aim for this guy every single time. You will not be disappointed. I unfortunately didn't quite get any goals with him, which is a shame, but I got on the end of absolutely everything with him, as you can see. Tons of tons of opportunities, and I'm sure on another day I'd have probably come away with two or three goals. I loved him. There's not too much really to talk about. If you want a cracking centre-back that's relatively cheap, you can mix him into your squad or use him as a sub, then this guy delivers. He's super strong. He makes tons of great tackles, a really solid option at the back and one that I would highly recommend. So I hope you enjoyed the player review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace. <laughs>